Welcome to another edition, part two of the Double Shot. I, of course, Jason Rantz, Dick Scorheim, talking about flying. You're a considerate flyer. I most certainly am an annoyed flyer. The worst thing, I think, to be on a plane is when you sit down and you have someone next to you who wants to talk. Mm. And for most people, it's a very awkward maneuvering to get out of that kind of conversations, right? Because you don't want to talk to some random person. Well, you do because you're I, friendly. Yeah, I do. But I think you're actually, I do think, the anomaly on this one. I think more people are on my side of not wanting to talk to some annoying stranger. <laughs> you, you just can't, you can't say that? I, I hate, first of all, I hate small talk, period. Yeah. I most definitely hate small talk with someone who I have no clue who they are, don't really care. All I know about you, this last flight, because I was texting you the entire time. I know you were, yeah. And you're like, I think she's reading my text messages. <laughs> I'm certain <laughs> she was reading my text messages as I was talking a whole lot of smack about her. You were, yeah. But she comes on, and I swear to God, she first spoke with a British accent. Oh, and then it went away. And then it completely oh, went away. No. She was doing some weird, like, game, I guess, yeah. where she wanted people to think she was a Brit for some reason. Yeah. Second she sat down, she started talking to me in a normal she realized, accent. She realized she couldn't keep it up. She goes, oh, this is actually a <laughs> two and a half hour flight. for two and a half hours. We're late. I can't do this for two and a half hours. I don't know how many. Yeah, that's it, horrible. Well, the good news was she wouldn't have had to do it with me for two and a half hours because the second she started to talk to me. How do you get out of it? Well, first I started to text you. And I think that that is a subliminal sign to them that, oh, my God, he's probably texting someone about having a talk. Yeah, that's just a go away. Yeah, for sure. And then I swear to God, this is what I just <laughs> She was in the middle of talking to me. She was talking. I can't remember what she was saying because I wasn't really paying attention. You, you be her for a second. Uh, oh, uh, oh here my don't headphones. you just love uh, Harry and, and, and William? Don't actually, you love them? She was normal at that point. She's not British anymore. No, she was British. I might have actually oh, okay. talked to her. Uh, <laughs> as uh, soon as she, as soon as she did it, are you excited about Vegas? I just pulled you my like headphones. To what's your game? Do you like to play and uh, I put them craps? On, and I started. <laughs> so are you staying at the, the sands? <laughs> she, was, she asked me. What's bringing you to Vegas? And I think it's bringing me to Vegas. Well, well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going for for a conference yeah. or I'm going for fun. There's that's the only two. I reasons. like to. T I actually like to talk to people on a plane because I'm a nervous oh, flyer. God. So oh, what God. I do is I've talked about this before. I take I, I drink two Heineken as fast as I possibly can just and so I, I get that good feeling going. And then I just like square up because you're sitting this close next to someone on a plane, and I'm just like I'm just mm -hmm. hanging out. I, I made I have made so many wonderful. That's not true. I haven't made wonderful friends, but I have talked to you people on planes for hours. But now that I'm thinking about it, like you're probably the reaction that they're talking about. Like when I get off the plane with them, they're not excited about the conversation. They're texting their friends. They're texting their friends, Saying which they do a lot now that you mention I it. Told you. People always text when I talk to them on a plane. If I don't realize it before. doing that, they're, they're talking about you and how annoying you are. Well, Sorry this, to break that. That's deal. a bummer. Something else happened on this flight, which was a total scam. So first class, you get a meal going and coming back, right? On longer flights that are more... You, yeah, you yeah I wouldn't know that. Yeah, it's fly with kids. It's in the back with yep. kids. Yep. Um, it's very wonderful. And free booze and everything. You'd be so happy with your... I honey. would be so happy. So they announced on the PA, first they announced at the beginning of the flight, there's someone with a peanut allergy on board. If you have any peanuts, please don't open the bag. Keep it to yourself, blah, blah, blah. I didn't think anything of it because they don't even serve peanuts on planes anymore for the same reason. Then, as the woman's come, the flight attendant's coming around, normally taking your, your food order, she leans in and says, oh, we're not going to be able to serve uh, your meals today because they have peanuts in them. What? I had no idea what you I don't pay for that meal. Them. I know. Do you, get, like, about, do you get money back? I got, so I was about to complain. Once I got off the flight, because I love to complain, especially on Twitter. So I got an email, and I'm presuming all of us did in first class, saying we're giving you an extra 12,000 miles. Because you couldn't because, eat your yeah. meal. What is that? What is that? I don't know what it what equates does that equal to. to? What does, it get, what do you, what does 12,000 miles get you? I, I mean, it's better than nothing. Like a quarter of a flight? I suppose I could just complain. A quarter? What are you, nuts? Not even an eighth. Oh, okay. I don't even think it gets been, you taken off. It's been a point. while. It's been a while since I've flown on a plane. I think that's probably twenty bucks. Peanut maybe. allergies is a real is a real new thing. Like it, it, I got in trouble the other yeah. day at my kid's school because I got I packed my one of my kids is in preschool and I was packing the snack for mm -hmm. the day and I packed like little uh, you know, the Costco the like the pretzel peanut yeah. butter bites okay. delicious. Everyone loved my son just eats them like crazy. Okay, they're not going to sponsor us. 
So I pack those and I love Costco. I can't, I just love it. Uh, so I pack those and then we get a message like within 20 minutes of my wow. son being dropped off at school. We get a message from his school. Peanuts are not allowed, blah, 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 blah. They didn't direct it at me specifically, but I know it was about me because yeah. I sent him with like peanut butter in his um, stuff. That wasn't a thing. Peanut allergies was not a thing when I was a kid. Because it's made up. It's, it's, this is the move of narcissists. Somebody must have it. You've got a narcissist seven-year-old or the parents are narcissists who want to bring more attention to the kid. Peanut allergies do not exist. And spare me the complaints. You're all scam artists. You just want attention. It's like celiac disease. You, oh, we can't have gluten. Yes, you can. You're just making a choice. Do you really think that it's not real? I don't Peanut think allergies? it's real. I think it's... They didn't have them I when we were kids. it's a created thing because people just decided... Oh, maybe I shouldn't give my kid peanuts because they could become allergic to it. But the fact is, you give the kid the peanut early on, that's how they don't so they become, build up an yeah, immunity. Yeah. It, it is a total scam. That's right. I mean, it literally exists, but it's a scam and I don't care. And frankly, if you've got <laughs> a peanut allergy to that degree, yeah. you don't get to fly. Sorry, fly private. Like, why did, train, why does your else? flight have yeah. to be interrupted we because all, somebody else has a peanut allergy? That, that's absolutely ridiculous. How are these people going to survive in, in life? Yeah. Well, how do they Just get don't eat the a peanut? Day? Don't eat a peanut. But how do they get through the day if they're so sensitive to peanuts? That Great they, question. Like, what is going on? Yeah. And with your kid's school, were they going through the lunch within that's a, 20 minutes? Of somebody the, noticed it. Somebody somebody had a, a nostril. <laughs> that's a peanut. That's a peanut pretzel. <laughs> Maybe someone was allergic and almost died. No, they would have told us that. <laughs> no, they just said, no peanuts. Uh, here's a reminder. And, you know, they make you, you know, feel like a bad parent. But, like, you know. no right to privacy with children and their peanut snacks. I guess. That's ridiculous. Yeah. We'll see you next time.